I think it was 25 October is when we sent our planning teams to San Diego, Tucson, El Paso, and down here, and linked up with our CBP partners. The tasks that we have, or the effect that CBP is looking for, is to control access at the ports of entry and deter access between the ports. There are 26 lanes for traffic, and so this is this is Director Flores' major concern. There's that's primarily concertina wire. And where are you getting the Jersey barrier? I know where you get the wire from. Yes, sir. Where are you getting the Jersey barrier? Sir, we coordinated for that through uh, DM. And you see these bridges. We, we do have contingencies, as you know. We have layers and layers and layers of security built into all of this. Right. But we are prepared to block them with uh, cargo containers should the need arise. So we I will. See. Uh, and uh, you know, all those layers in place. I know. Well, I am. <laughs> Follow the number will go onto the laundry slip, so when the laundry goes into the machine, when it comes out, we can identify that soldier's bag so we know which laundry it goes to. Or our soldiers to come in and make that assistance. Well, there's all sorts of stuff in the news and that sort of thing. You just concentrate on what your company commander, your battalion commander tells you. Because if you read all that stuff, you know, you'll go nuts. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what your mission is here. You've had to deploy on short notice to a non-traditional location and do your job. So you focus on doing that. But the secretary and I are here also to answer your questions. And it's going to get real weird if she and I are looking at you and you're looking at us and no one's talking. You know what I mean? When the secretary decided that her border patrol needed help, she came to us. Not because of me. I had to rent a suit to come down here. <laughs> no, because of you. Because what you are every day. And that's what I, I miss being around it. And it is pretty humbling uh, to be still part of you. I, I did it for 40 some years. I thought I was doing good out there on the West Coast, but I flunked retirement. You know? Would you give me, when I become a non-commissioned officer, yeah. To excel in my. Are forever thankful for the partnership of each and every one of you. Uh, DHS has a amazing collaborative relationship with the Department of Defense. Whether it's for natural disasters, whether it's for cybersecurity, whether it's for fighting the away game, so that we don't have to fight the home game. Uh, and then certainly border security is national security, and we all together are taking this very seriously. So we are honored to partner with you. We are proud of you. I want to thank you uh, on behalf of DHS, both my parents.